Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We're gonna talk to Sufi. Wait, uh Okay, this is the this is the probe data thing that I was warned about many eons ago. That this is like the start of the end game. Okay. Search the solar system Oh no, talk to Suvi. Scourge clusters probe for data. Okay. So we have to go drive to the scourge. Or to the probes. We must fly. Fly. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Yeah, let me check my email really quick. Okay. Wow, that looks so good. Ooh, oh, wait. Oh, man. I kind of want to go look at it out the windows over there, but in the back of the ship. But this is fine. I'm, like, tempted to, like... Let's see. The Nexus science team is completely blown okay. away by what you found we'll in the around city. Top. Back in the Milky Way, did it feel like this when you were out looking for Prothean artifacts? Absolutely. Got a crazy rush whenever we found something new. Yes! Rush. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. And, you know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? Even in that scenario, a higher power could still exist. There could always be something greater, greater than us, greater than the Jardan. I had faith before, and I'll keep having faith, because that's what faith is. Thank you, Ryder. You always know how to make me feel better. I'm not gonna, like, I, by no means am I gonna be like, oh yeah, this just proves to God. It's like, no, like, it doesn't, by any means. <laughs> so, I don't think so. What can I do for you? Okay. I'll let you concentrate. We should definitely go talk you know to Jal. Let's see, uh, PB? I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are designed. What are the implications? Mm, buh. Far too many to sift through at once. It's mostly for the Angara to figure out. I can't imagine what this will mean to them. Yep, it's gonna Furious be. This is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. It's gonna be, gonna be weird. Uh, yeah, we'll just shoot on back. More tests? You said, uh... I know what I said, but your protein levels are on the low side. Doc, I'm missing three lungs. Who gives shit about protein levels? <laughs> I do. Just let her worry about you, old man. Yeah, she wants to. Makes her feel like she's helping. And she is. Pathfinder, thought you might be callow. I asked him for nav data. Data for what? Mapping the Scourge. Now we know it's a weapon, I hate it more. Mwah! Designed to isolate, lingers well after the war. I know what that is. It's a minefield. Ah. They're vile, because it's not just about watching your step. They make normal life impossible. You get it. The long-term point is to hobble the way the whole population lives. Mark ah. this. The Ket are bad, but whoever deployed the Scourge, they're some motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Good point. That's a really good point, actually. That was really insightful of him to say that. It's not like being a created species really means anything. The Angara are the Angara. They created their what own culture. What matters in the end is that they exist. Oh, girl. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a Pijack scratch its butt? Tell me more about fighting Ket. Shoot stuff and don't ah. die. Always works for well, me. Well, they're gonna keep getting the same advice now. They should gray it out. We can talk more later. Sure. 
I mean, yeah, it's gonna, like, change a lot of things, but at the same time, it's like, um, the Angara are still the Angara. They still have their culture, like, you know, all that. Ew. They created that. Hi, Jal. Hello, Ryder. Have you come to see if I'm finally broken? To see what discovering that my people were invented has done to me? Just here if you need to talk. I can't imagine what you're feeling. I've been staring out the window, trying to figure that out. That's new. True. Angara are usually very free with our feelings. Not talking about all Angara. I'm talking about you. I'm... Numb. I'm in awe. There's a peace in knowing that though the universe is beyond your understanding, it doesn't need your understanding to function. Mm. That you may even have a hidden destiny. Does it matter? Your people aren't shackled to this new discovery. I agree. We don't owe anything to the Jardin. Our destiny is our own. I'm not broken, Ryder. I'm excited. Oh. The Angara were created for a purpose. We were given vaults and golden worlds. All these advanced tools. And there is nothing the Ket can do about it. That's a it. good point. The future holds more for the Angara than a never-ending war on the Ket. Much more. That's tr well, they were probably maybe created to be like the the keepers of these worlds, you know, like and given maybe they're like the remnants. Maybe maybe the Angara are remnants of a people that once populated elsewhere, you know, and and the Jardin or whoever. I don't know if we're calling them the Jardin or what, but um, they brought what was left and were able to create, you know, an ex a pre, you know. A, a, an ex a, a continuation of an older species or um, found this place and thought it would be a good place to settle for the Angara. Like, they were created to live here and thrive here, you know? For the Angara. Hell, for all of us. These are amazing, crazy days. <laughs> really crazy. Really amazing. It doesn't matter... If we were created by a god, reborn from our ancestors, or a, a exist as the dream of an AI superpower. Wow. This discovery changes nothing except ourselves. And that's everything. Okay, so are the Jordan is it is it an AI superpower? <laughs> It's not like a like a like a like a organic creature, or they or what? I don't know. Do you have time to talk further? I do, but you don't. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong, and clear. All right, we need to find Cora. Pos and well, and the doctor um, Lexi did mention that the Angara were. I don't know. Well, and somehow the Scourge is... I don't know, I'm trying to think if, like... Same here. I'd get nosebleeds just thinking about it. Ryder? Bye. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Uh -huh. Hey, Ryder. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? 
Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? Let's not worry about things we don't know yet. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. We still have to try. We still have to hope. You're right. Of course you're right. We didn't give up to the worst of it, and we're not going to start now. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Meh. Two galaxies worth. Meh. All right, all right. We'll see, maybe Gil. Oh, I didn't. I just jumped down because I was like, I heard them talking and I was like, hmm. Couldn't tell where it was coming from. I thought it was coming from where Jaw was. I didn't realize they were talking on the intercom. Uh, Gil, you too, buddy? So my buddy Jill, who, Whoa. by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. That's nice. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before. She asked me if I'd father it. Uh... Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? What? No, you don't love Jill. He doesn't love Jill. What? No, he's gay. Are you kidding me? That would be completely insane. Why? You think I'm not ready? Think I'm too immature or something? This is the kind of thing you don't just jump into, Gil. It's one of those no-turning-back decisions. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. What?! Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. What?! Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. Wait, so why couldn't he just... Wait. Why couldn't he be a donor and, like, somebody could, like, you know what I mean? Like, why can't he get married to a guy and they can, like, adopt a baby or, like, both donate sperm and, like, have somebody carry the baby for them? Like, why does he all of a sudden have to be in this weird heterosexual relationship when he's homosexual? Like, what? This is a really weird... I'm really uncomfortable with this. <laughs> like... He wants to have a baby so bad, he's just gonna shack up with Jill? Like... I mean, if he was bi, whatever, but he's not. He said he's gay. Like, is he gonna have sex with her? Like, or what? Like, is he gonna donate and they're just gonna raise the baby? Like, this is weird. I'm very happy for you, Gil. For both of you. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Auntie Pathfinder. No, thank you. All right, yeah, no, uh, Gil, that's weird. I'm weirded out. So let me get this straight. The Angara were created, like, in a lab by another species. I can't imagine what y'all must be going through. The Jardin created his people, but care to changing them. Seems like the Angara are everyone's guinea pigs. Yeah! Not many things break my brain, but I got pieces all over the place thanks to this. Good talking to you, Gil. <laughs> Good Anytime. talking to you. We had some weird conversations. All right. So that, what we had earlier, and maybe something we could have gone to talk to him after meeting with Jill, I guess. But I'm um, just weirded out. I'm just really weirded out by that. Hot work. So you can fix it? It's just editing a config file. You could probably fix it. Huh. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. All right, wait. We gotta talk to Lexi. And Sam. We gotta talk to Sam, too, actually. I forget how many people are in my boat. engineering that's nice did you want me to talk to you again
Ryder. Oh, okay, bye. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. And my room. I hope Sam has some thoughts. Hello, Ryder. I have been contemplating our discoveries about the Angara at the Remnant City. I know who created me, and I know my purpose. I have also experienced not knowing. The difference is immense. You're heading into some deep yeah. waters there, Sam. Whole lifetimes are spent asking about creation, its meaning, if it has one, and if there was a motivating force. Are you asking if there's a god? AI have concrete answers about why they exist. If I did not, I would look for them. Hmm. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I suppose that's, that's nice, the simplicity and knowing... I mean, it really would be nice knowing where you came from and what your purpose is and all that. <clears throat> but where what would we philosophically debate about, you know? What would we fight wars over? Farming disputes? Detected. Yeah, nobody got time for that. So we've got that one. All right. Okay. So the, I thought maybe someone to come over here too, but oh, wow. We can go to many. I only have to do three. All right. Well, let's do. Oh, is there? Is there one right here? Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. Well, yeah, we're right in the middle of the scourge right now. Like, we're literally smack dab in the middle of it. Oh, I was super intense. Data okay. Collection probe ready for placement. Special anomaly related to the scourge, dark energy discernible from gravitational radiation effects, ice mineral debris, element zero, unknown materials. Energy emitted from this area appears weaker than expected. A probe deposited in the center of the formation might be used to collect data. Probe is in position. Interesting. Well, let's... Uh, I guess we'll just go. Ooh, ooh, yeah, why not? Would make the most sense to kind of go in a row. Would make the most sense to be honest to like triangulate the data across. Across like uh yeah it might. Hmm, but do we want to? I mean it's not gonna matter in the game, but in real life it might be better to triangulate the data. A real Turian aeronaut, the first across the ocean in a balloon. On Paladin, brave soul. There aren't many soft places to land. I'm picking up something. Um. So, like, we put one here, right? And then the smart decision, maybe we put one there and one here. But if we really want to analyze the Scourge, we should stay in this area where it's the strongest. But if we were going to analyze the effect on the entire cluster, we should triangulate. You know what I mean? But... I'll just do the easiest way. I'm picking right, up something. Right here. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there eventually. Oh, in, right there? Or right here? Probe away. Intense scourge activity is common in this area. Might be worth planting a probe. To be honest, three probes isn't enough. Like, I would probably go to every single area and toss them out, but I'm glad I don't have to do that in the game. The data collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready, Ryder. An unusually active area of Scourge energy. Alright. Probe deployed. Anomaly detected. Boop.
I do love this is one of the most remote systems in the cluster. Ooh. We're on the brink. Okay. Exciting, isn't it? Oh wow. Look at that sun. It's like gonna go supernova. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. This is one of the chosen data collection nav points. We should release a probe. Oh, it's beautiful in like a terrifying way. A minefield, I like that. The thing is, is I feel like we're kind of talking about things that we haven't fully, like, I don't know. There was no cutscene really explaining what we, like, you know, being like, hey, here's what's up. Here's the what data we, collection probe is prepped whenever you're ready. Here's Robert. what we know about the Jardin or whatever. Do we think it's an AI? Do we think it's a, do we think it's a organic species? Like, um, I don't know. We just kind of all started. It was like it was like we were talking. It's like it's like I picked up in the middle of a conversation. So we're like at the beginning of a convert, like towards the beginning of a conversation, and I was kind of not really sure. Like I would have liked to have had a cutscene where you know afterwards being like, wow, like let's like I'll get like get together, and figure this out, you know, like this is weird, and like sort of come to some conclusions with what little data we have, but at least have a consensus on what we're like naming things and what we think, because I'm, there was something else, I don't know, there was like one other thing that was just kind of like, I don't know, I just, probably, just, it just happened like a few seconds ago, but I can't, can't remember what it is now, but it's like, I, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm missing a few pieces of the puzzle. <laughs> Data connection commencing. I'm level 40. Pathfinder, I have analyzed the results of the Scourge Energy Pattern Model. And? This is how you get Meridian. Access the bridge whenever you're ready. Oh boy! <laughs> Speak to the crew. Oh. Alright. I really hope my plan to find Meridian works, because if not, I don't know what we'll do. Sam thinks it'll work, and it makes perfect sense. Oh, good. I can't wait to get all the data in so we can actually get confirmation we're on the right track. What are your thoughts on the origin of the Angara? You're not the only one who's asked that. It's going around, people saying it's unnatural. Are biotics natural? What about space travel, painkillers, clothing, fire? All of it's made our lives better. Why would I draw the line at life creation tech? But what about the ethics of the entire thing? I'd say the act of creation itself is indifferent. The intention behind it is what matters. Create people so they can self-determine and live meaningful lives? Good. Make people to serve as slaves? Bad. Very, very bad. Okay. I have to say I agree. The Ingata are the same, whether evolved or created by some mysterious hand. Not everyone sees that, however. And okay. knowing the Scourge was a weapon meant to destroy the Jardin makes me wonder. Maybe someone out there really hated what the Jardin were doing. See, now we're having the conversation that I felt like we didn't have before. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Oh, I have, um... Oh, who, no, who, who, yeah. What can I do for you? Oh, okay. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Let's see, do I have emails? Nope. All right, so romancing, what's his name, was a bad idea? I don't know. Hi there, just checking in. What's up? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. So, what should I have waited? Okay, so, hmm. Did I accidentally have the conversations too soon? Yes? I did! Okay! We'll talk later. All right! I know it. Is it still... Hang on. Oh... Uh... I may have messed that up. Just talk to Kesh. 
Looks like some Whoa. of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. Letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. Well, let's just do it. So, about that bar fight on Kadara, was that like a date? Nah. Nah, there'd be less of an audience and more property damage. What? <laughs> what does it mean, honey? What does that mean? We can talk what? more later. What? Sure. What does that mean? What does that mean, Drag? Cause, uh, cause yeah. Cause yeah. Yeah, buddy. Not even, not even gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Hmm. I may have glitched that out on accident. He said he was in. Um. Where am I? Am I in engineering? Yeah. Okay. It's Gil said it's like I'm in engineering, but he was wasn't. Liam Drack, Jal. Oh, Jal. I missed Jal. That's okay. We'll just hop down. Talk to Cora again. Hi there. Hey, we have war stories? Any more commando war stories? Tethys was our sniper. She was old. Matriarch old. Maybe more. Didn't show. Once Sar hit an Elcor in the eye from two clicks away. Wow. That's a little scary. She was. Always seemed to be hiding something. But she kept us safe. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Unused skill points. Maybe I'll... Oh, hey. Hate to bother you while you're sitting. We always seem to be so close, but never close enough. You mean the Remnant City? Meridian. I was so sure we'd reached the end. I had a bottle of Drossix Blue ready to go. <laughs> I hope you're planning to share that. So I can wake up to the headlines... Pathfinder, Pathfinds victory, laid low by Turian Brew. <laughs> what? Not a party unless I'm passed out of <laughs> From your stomach literally exploding. Why don't I find something oh, yeah. better suited to humans? Oh, yeah. Hopefully we'll have something to celebrate soon. That's right. We probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. That's right. We don't want to eat Turian stuff. There's so many details in this world. I freaking love it. Freaking love it. Freaking love it. Ooh, it's super dark in here. Oh. Motion activated lights! Oh, cool! Oh, I just, just figured that out. Look at all this stuff. Like, whoever, I mean, say what you want about the game development and the story or characters or whatever. But whoever was in charge of designing this world had all the time in the world. Whoever, whoever was in charge of designing the physical aspects of the world had all the time in the galaxy. And did, did right by it. Uh, okay, so this is why I came in here because I thought Gil might be in here. Because I was in here and it's like, I'm in engineering. And I'm like, well, why would I have expected you to be in here? Like, I would never, I don't think I've ever seen Gil in here ever. It's always been Jal and Liam in here. Hey, Ryder. What's the story? Yeah. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Weird. I'm weird. Weird, weird, weird. And we'll talk to... Nope, that's, that's Sam not in there. Okay. Feeling okay? I'm, I'm alright. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here. I do love me. that they made the feature where, like, things are grayed out. Like, I do love that. That was... That was... Oh, crap. I gotta go... Ooh! We should go... We should go up top and take a look at it, if I remember. I'm really... I'm actually gonna look up where to get these eventually. 
because I think part of the reason things say I was saying like oh like there's so many cool things like that that's been designed and like that fill up the world but a lot I think for some people maybe and sometimes for me it can feel kind of cluttered um and so like it would be very difficult for me to find these little ships and stuff like that you know I think there was one that I didn't steal or something that I could have <laughs> during the, like, way back with Drax mission when it was, like, um, tracking down that guy who we were in his bedroom, plant, like, trying to find, like, his incriminating evidence against him for being an a-hole and racist. <laughs> Hello, Ryder. All right. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. I do, I don't know if there's a mod or something eventually, but it'd be cool to, like, turn the music on and have it play throughout the ship, because I'd have it on all the time. Just quietly in on the background would be nice. Jowl. We talked to PB. Calocora Vetra. We, um. Thrak. Yes? Okay. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Okay, did I talk to everybody? <laughs> Do I have any video stuff? Okay. Hello, little friend. I see you in the dark, creepy. You definitely made yourself at home. Oh my gosh, that's so cool looking. 